We all knew this was going to start really early. Didn't expect it to start as early as it did because yesterday over on, well, the PlayStation Store for Warframe, if you went down to add-ons and clicked see more, something appeared that wasn't supposed to be here. Yeah. The Heirloom Collection. And of all the things that are there, everybody kind of missed out on a few other things that are down here. Yes, there is the Celestial Heirloom Collection, there is the Zenith Heirloom Collection, but there's also the Risen Heirloom Collection that comes with the 10-year accolade. No idea what that is because nothing actually shows it. I'm assuming it's the thing in the background. The Decca Heirloom Sigil Glyph Emote Colour Palette and 400 Platinum. Uh, I'm kind of agreeing with everybody. These are a little bit overpriced. Then there is the Celestial Heirloom Collection. Oh, look at that image. We'll get to that in a second. That comes with basically the Accolade and the Frost and Mag skins and sigils and Regal Eye. And no platinum. No platinum at over twice the price. That means these skins are going to be something like $40 each for a skin? Then the Zenith obviously comes with absolutely everything, including the Decker Heirloom stuff that, well, we'll have to wait and see, but it has been confirmed this is not, this a fact we can't, can I just... I was shown this about nine hours ago, and yeah, I saw this and instantly thought Frost looks weird without his coat on. That, oh, that would have been an epic skin for Nova. But it's not, it's Mag, it's not Nova. I thought Nova at first, just simply because of the way that it's standing and has the hand out and... Uh, yeah, no, it makes sense. Now some, now I've actually looked into it, it says Mag, it makes sense for it to be Mag, it even has Mag parts on it, same as Frost. But I don't know about Frost yet. Being somebody who uses Frost a lot, yes, I'm looking at these skins and instantly thinking, wow. They look absolutely amazing. Wow. This explains the update yesterday, by the way. So this huge update that they were kind of hinting towards coming on TennoCon, probably during Tenno Live at 4.30pm ET on the 26th of August, which should be later today. Um, I hope this isn't everything that's coming in this update, because this is available on the PlayStation Store. Basically, they listed it the wrong day. Somebody probably put a 5 instead of a 6 when they were kind of placing this thing up. So it went live a day early. But damn, Frost actually looks much better. Loving the arms. The fact he is made up pretty much entirely of ice wouldn't be a digital extreme oopsie if, well, this wasn't linkable in-game. All you've got to do is enter that into brackets into any of the chat and you can actually link the things which allows us to actually see it in game and yeah okay it looks nothing like the imagery for it like these things are actually pointing down not up could point up when casting abilities we don't know it's physically not actually in game but instead of having a coat he's kind of Wearing something else around his waist. So still has the kind of coat look. It looks like he's taking the coat off his arms, but he's still wearing it on his lower half. I kind of like this, but at the same time, don't. Because it's all one colour. And that has me wondering, when you come to colour this, how bad is it going to get? How many different colour zones is it? If we ignore that fact, it actually doesn't look too bad. But I'm I'm looking at it from a changing the colour perspective, and it has me a little bit worried, especially since we're talking about a skin that is basically $25, $26 each. But you can see the difference between the what they showed being this. You see how all of the ice is pointing straight up on the helmet? I'm hoping when you cast an ability, maybe it actually does that. But making it glow like this... Yeah, I hope in-game, when you're actually using it, there is a glow about it, because reality doesn't always kind of work out to the promotions, because that helmet for Mag, sadly, doesn't look anything like it. I mean, literally 
doesn't look anything like it. That ring round the helmet is a solid ring. Versus that, it's not a solid ring. That is a completely different helmet than what they've actually put on the heirloom skin. Um, I'm literally looking at it and it says Mag Heirloom Skin, Mag Heirloom Signa. Um, well, at least she has the glow about her. You can see it. Oh, wait. It's not actually reflecting on these, is it? Well, that's a bit of a shame. Well, it is. It's reflecting on the gold parts behind her. So she actually has that glow around her. Frost doesn't. Even if we go to just the helmet that looks a little bit weird, you can see it is glowing because the reflection in the gold parts has gone from the, the pinky colour it was to the colour her helmet now is. So it does, in fact, emit light that will reflect off things. And yes, this is on normal mag skin because this is just her helmet. Don't think my clan's going to be very happy with me spamming it with all of these things, but oh well. Same with this, you can see, they're kind of pointing down, but they are moving. Maybe they do go a different way. We'll have to obviously wait and find out, but uh, at least there it looks a bit better. Even though it's been there this whole time, for some reason the price has uh, disappeared. Add to cart is still there, not really sure what's going on with that, or why that's still at the bottom of the screen. I probably should have got rid of that earlier, but you can see, 25th of the 8th, 2023. They've kind of accidentally added this to the game a day early. Hence the weird hotfix that turned up yesterday, because that was to add these into the game, as demonstrated by showing these things. I do regret not doing this earlier, but I kept getting messages about it, so I've kind of had to, even though, well, Barrow's due in a few hours. And yes, I'm aware what happened yesterday, but uh, TennoCon kicks off later today, and hopefully they've got a good explanation, basically to why this turned up early. It's... it just doesn't match the artwork that they're kind of showing but that really doesn't matter too much because you're probably going to change the color of it anyway and in theory it comes with a color palette which I'm interested in as well but to be fair couldn't find same as the accolade couldn't find that either interested to see what else they are announcing with it but if this is their big Tenocon update release kind of a little bit uh Disappointed to start with, and Tenocon hasn't started yet, so this isn't the big news they have. We already know that from the trailer. This is just one of the things that is being released later today, even though they accidentally released it a day early. But only on PlayStation. And with that, I think we'll leave this off here. Yeah? Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.